Hey there, today I'm going to explain you how to add the command prompt to the context menu of Windows 10 without having to press shift right click just pressing right click in the context menu as you can see it adds a new option in the context menu that allows me to open the command prompt in the folder that I am currently positioned in this case is the desktop for example but it works in any folder that you are positioning, as you can see. I'm in another partition of my disk in folder TypeScript. So it works in any folder that you are positioning. So let's go. So the first thing that we want to do is go to the registrator. As you can see, I deleted from context menu for making a step by step and showing you that this works. So let's go to the registrator, just search in Windows uh, search, registry, editor, and is the app that appears first, registrator. Click yes, and then we are going to search for a key. The key is inside this HK class root. Then we are going to search for the key called directory name it directory directory once you find it inside let's see go to background k and inside background let's go to shell k here is uh, where we're gonna add a new k for adding this new feature to the context menu so in shell folder or in shell k create a new k and call it whatever you want. In my case, I'm going to call it like CMD here. Inside here, CMD here, there's a default string value that you can see. Click on it and in value data, campus uh, value data, write the name that you want, you want to uh, show or it's going to be displayed in the context menu. For example, CMD here. And I'm going to show you as you can see, it created a new option here in the context menu called CMD here, the name that I just wrote. Or you can call it uh, as you want. Same the example. As you can see, it's the name that appears here in the context menu. Okay. After this, uh, that we created this new key register key in this create a new string value and call it icon this is option it's gonna be the icon that will be displayed as you can see in other in other options but it's optional if you want in this case you can add any icon that you want but has to be an image file with the station i that icon for example i'm gonna add this icon from angular so i copy the path to the file for example this and in the icon string value i paste it and add the name of the of the file and as you can see now it displays the icon that you specified it before but if you want that the cmd icon it's gonna be simpler way because we just we just wanna search the application itself. For example, we want to add the command prompt, so let's search the Windows default command prompt. This is located in your open first your PC, then local disk, then search for Windows. Inside Windows, search for System32. And inside System32, you're gonna see that down here is gonna be cmd.x. Here, here it is. So copy the path to cmd.x, paste it here, and don't forget to add the 
executable program or the program that we are using in this case cmd.x this app will automatically add the icon of that application so we have the name and the the icon of the application after that we're gonna add inside this key we're gonna add another key called command and in the default value we're gonna add the path the path to the program that we're gonna we we wanna to appear in the context menu in this case cmd.x but this is gonna be inside quotes don't forget the quotes or it won't work okay you can find it in again uh, your C disk Windows 1632 and then this, there is the file just copy this path and paste it here don't forget the name cnd.x and inside quotes don't forget that and that's all it will work very well and it will open in any folder you may write and as you can see I added a new a new a new option to the context menu for the new Windows Terminal the new version of the Windows Terminal that is this one so if you want me to make a video talking about this let me know it in the comment section below and I will make the video for you okay and that's all you can open uh, this new this terminal in the folder in any folder you make right click you added this option to a context menu please don't forget to subscribe like and share the video and i really would appreciate that and see you in the next video bye